uh, hi in this video we are going to see uh, tracing module in MuleSoft so in order to do that I'll just create a simple Mule project and I'll just try to add some HTTP listener and logger and then I'll add uh, the tracing module okay so I'll just call this as a tracing demo so mainly in the tracing rate if you wanted to trace the entire Mule application with specific ID then you can use a tracing module in order to capture the ID so that you can monitor end to end what is happening for the particular flow so now I'll add a listener and then I will also add the logger step here so in the logger step I'll just add the payload alone for now and here I'll just uh, say hello in the endpoint so this is my URI path and then I'll in the plus simple right I'm just going to create a configuration which will be our HTTP configuration which I leave it as a default so now the mule application is ready and here right I'll just try to show uh, the correlation ID uh, which will be normally by default it will be coming in order to trace the end-to-end -end application okay so by default it will generate the the correlation ID uh, mainly in case of HTTP listener and also in the JMS related module as well so now uh, we are mainly seeing the HTTP listener and I'll show you where exactly this correlation ID is coming then we will use a tracing module see here this is a tracing one I'll just if I search tracing right and it will show what are the different things are there like tracing with correlation ID and other information in the tracing module so we will see that as well so now the application is getting deployed so meanwhile I'll just go and open the postman so that we can trigger uh, some request to our mule application so once it's up and running I'm going to use a postman application in order to post the request to our application which is listening to the hello endpoint so which is running in my same machine and then it's getting loaded so I'm waiting for the the final status where we can see the application has been deployed or not see here it's showing deployed so I'm just going to run that from the postman the postman application is getting open now so once it's open right yeah it's open now so I, I'll add a plus symbol so that it will create a new window for us and then once it's opening the new window right I'm just going to call that particular web service so which is running in the or I'll open any one of that I, uh, there are a lot of tabs open already so I'm just trying to close all the tab okay so I have closed some of the tabs so I'll just take one of the request and I'll say localhost colon 8081 slash and I'm just having hello so in the request right I'll try to post something because I am storing the payload also so I just change this method to post and then I change this to raw and then I'll just change this to JSON here I'll just uh, send some JSON message so I'll say message colon and then I'll say uh, hi okay so this is my message JSON message which I'm trying to post it so when I post this one you are getting 200 which means your application has received the request and if you look at this one right so there's a event okay and uh, and then as in the logger right we are logging the payload so this is the payload and then after the event you will be able to see there is one id which is the which is a correlation id which will get generated by automatically okay so that's generated automatically so if you wanted to override this value right uh, then we can send it from the request itself so that whatever the value we pass that gets stored there okay so if we don't send any correlation ID in the HTTP request then MuleSoft itself will generate a correlation ID with this UID information that will continue to the entire flow so for example this is a logger step so that event ID is coming similarly if I have some more step right so for that also you can see every steps with uh, that event and that event will get tracked with the same ID so now if I wanted to override this with some other ID from the source itself so that you know from the source that UID get generated or the unique correlation ID get generated the source application and then MuleSoft application end to end you know we can use the same ID to in order to trace or troubleshoot the entire application so how do we send the correlation ID so you can send it using this X correlation ID correlation ID 
in the header and uh, any value you can pass it so i'll try to pass this uh, some value test one two three four five and then i'll try to send it so when we send it right and uh, now the request has been received and uh, still is not taking this uh, as id because maybe you know i have not passed the correct field here okay so i'll try to take the correct value now because it's a standard http header so we have to use it a specific uh, exact header okay so i'll just use this one okay so it's saying correlation id so i'll just copy that exact id so in the wikipedia itself i'll copy which will have the all the header field okay so i'll just copy the correlation id field so these are all standard request okay so we are going to copy the correlation id yeah it will start with the x actually x correlation id yeah this is the field which we need to send it so i'll take this value and then i'll go to the postman and i'll try to post it okay so i'll just try to see what is the wrong in the previous one yeah so there are some spelling mistake in this one so that's why you know it didn't go through so i'll remove that or i'll just delete that as also and then this is the field which i wanted to send it with some value called test one two three four five then I'll send the request to my application. So my application has received the request now. See here, the event ID got changed with test12345. So this way, if you wanted to send any kind of order number or any kind of unique number, then you can send it in a X correlation ID field so that uh, that particular ID, that particular correlation ID, which will get used in the entire flow. So that is that way you can override your own correlation ID to the Mule application. Similarly, if you wanted to create your own uh, correlation ID, what you can do is, I'll just uh, copy this trace, then you just put it here. Okay, so I just dragged and dropped it here. And for example, if this log, right, and I'll just put it here inside. And this correlation ID field, I just selected the correlation ID section. And you wanted to give some other value, which you wanted to generate. Then that value, you can give it here then that will act as a correlation id okay for example uh, in the payload right for example i'll just try to sense different payload and i'll say i'll uh, add one more field called order number and then i'll say colon and i'll say i'll pass some number okay so this is my order number and this particular field right if i wanted to set that as a correlation id then what you can do is it's coming in a payload right payload dot then i'm giving that field and then i'll save this one Okay, so now uh, this is the value it will take for correlation ID. So whenever that ID is generated, right? So based on the incoming data, I want to change uh, within a Mule application itself. I wanted to send some or modify that correlation ID value. Then this will get changed. Okay, so I'll just go to the console and see the application has started or not. So it started. So what I'll I do, right? So now I'll just go to Okay, so there's a X correlation ID as well, which I'll change it to different value. Okay, test thousand I'll change it, and then the body there is a different order number. So maybe I'll just give something uh, um, meaningful. So I'll say five thousand one, and so that you know we can easily see that. So here five thousand one is there, and in the header I'm passing test thousand, and I'll try to see after sending the request, we will go and see what is the data it's getting logged for our correlation id see here there is a error it's saying evaluating the expression so maybe the syntax is wrong so we'll just go here and i'll just uh, see what is wrong and correlation id payload order number okay so i'll just see the field exact field it's a order number only okay so this one is a string okay and payload dot string only i'm just giving it order number so the field name is exactly same only and it's saying unable to resolve reference of no okay i think this uh no right and it's not able to take properly uh, so what will i do for this example right i'll just uh, remove this one and i'll say order number and then i'll just take this as a order number order number as a field okay and then i'll try to save it okay so it's saved now so 
stopping the application and it's starting it again because we just changed it and then it's applying the latest artifact into your mule runtime so once it's up see it's up now so i'm just going to send the same request see here now the response came with 200 which means your application has received and there is no error and see here it's coming as 5001 so this 5001 it's acting as your tracing id okay in the end to end flow so now in this one we have added only one flow right and this is like a scope you can add n number of flow steps uh, or the event processor so whatever available in this particular correlation id step right with correlation id there only whatever we are trying to apply it will apply once you come outside right it will apply the different even id so maybe we can see that as well so that you will know the difference so i'll try to add a logger here in this logger i'll say logger end okay so i'll just added a message alone and then i'll try to save it and we will see what is the correlation id is coming okay because we are sending also in our x correlation id field so we will see here uh, what is the value it's coming is it coming 5001 which we are taking from the order number in with correlation id so that is what it's coming or once you come out what is the value it's coming so that is what we are going to see now i'll go to the console yeah so the application is up now i'll try to send the data and i'll just come here in the logger if you look at the logger the here the event 5001 is coming and then the payload is getting printed because we are uh, printing the payload in the logger and even right this one it's taking an order number from payload it's taking order number from the payload the other one right it's coming test thousand which we are sending it in a this header so if you don't send this one right it will generated by it will get generated by mulesoft itself so now i send without that one because it's not checked here and if you come and see this one right this event id is the one which generated by mulesoft and the other one right even 5001 it's from our data so if you look at this time right so this is the one it's invoked now 8.49.44 that's the one invoked now and uh, what is happening when you set with correlation id it will generate the correlation id based on the logic or based on the command which you given here and uh, if you don't give that with correlation id then what is the correlation id is coming so it is if you are not passing an x correlation id field so mulesoft itself generating if you are giving x correlation id then it's overriding with that value and it's taking a precedence for that one for the entire mule flow so this way if you want to track your application throughout the flow from the source to the target then you can have some unique id so if you don't set anything the uid will come as a correlation id so through which you can have the unique number in order to troubleshoot or trace the end-to-end -end application but if you wanted to set some meaningful number like order number or date time with millisecond so those kind of things if you wanted to set it uh, in order to have your correlation id that is also possible how do we set it with correlation id you can apply that particular logic or uh, how to generate that value then based on that it will generate the value and then it will throw the flow or with with correlation id mainly whatever you add inside this right for example here you can add n number for example i can add one more logger also here or similarly right you can add many even processor there so whatever you are having it with correlation id scope that alone it will use the correlation id which specifically we set it here which will use it from here otherwise it will use the correlation id which created by either by mulesoft or if we are overriding with the x correlation id field then that is what it will be used in the entire mule application flow so now what we have seen today so mainly we have seen tracing module how tracing module works and mainly with correlation id and also we have seen how to use the correlation id to track end to end by sending x correlation id field and if you don't send x correlation id fields how mules of generate the uid value automatically so that is also we have seen through this particular tracing demo example Thank you.